Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna unbox and review this beast of a mesh system. This is the best deco that TP-Link makes. It's the BE95, it's a Wi-Fi 7 system, an absurdly fast BE33000 uh, speed rating. And so this thing is supposed to give, provide insane Wi-Fi speeds throughout your home. And so even in wireless backhaul configuration, it's still supposed to be very fast. It is a quad band. It has two six gigahertz band, a five gigahertz band, and a 2.4 gigahertz band. Um, so it has it supports MLO, which allows Wi-Fi 7 devices like these two to connect to more than one band at the same time. In fact, these are going to be my testing devices. If you guys have a Pixel 8 or an 8 Pro like this one, I have not been able to get MLO speeds. So this thing, even though it has Wi-Fi 7, technically it's more like a Wi-Fi 6E uh, device. So these two are able to get to it. Um, and the uh, iPhone is a Wi-Fi 6E device. So we're gonna be testing out both. Uh, but this thing's supposed to be crazy fast, has very fast ports and everything, has a 320 megahertz bandwidth, uh, which is also new. So I'm very, very excited to be reviewing this. And in a separate video, I will compare it to the other Deco mesh systems out there. Uh, so definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already subscribed. And I love their packaging. I mean, I guess I'm doing it upside down, but um, packaging is really nice. Um, so it looks just like the BE85. In fact, probably have to look at it to know the difference. Um, so yeah, WPS button, two 2.5 gigabit ports, two 10 gigabit ports, or you could use, instead of this 10 gigabit port, you could use an SFP plus port if you want to use that. Uh, USB 3.0, we have power. Um, so this thing is very, very fast. It's pretty much these are identical to the BE85 in terms of the port speeds. Um, this one is obviously exactly the same. Both of these are actually routers, but in the same network, only the main one hooked up to your modem um, is actually acting as the router. So we have the power. Um, does come like this, just like the BE85. It is 100 to 240 volts. Output is 75 watts. This is what it looks like. This is the plug and yeah, we typically get an Ethernet cable. This one is CAT6. So for short distances, CAT6 can actually support up to 10 gig speeds. Uh, CAT6A is rated to support 10 gig speeds no matter, um, well, up to the theoretical limit of 100 meters. Um, and we have the same thing here on the other side, pretty much power adapter, uh, and we get some instructions. So typical, uh, what we get with the deco system. So let's hook this up and go from there. So I ran this mesh system for about a week as my main mesh and it is solid. In fact, it's an absolute beast of a system. So I set it up using Deco app. It's available both on iOS and on Android. Super easy to set up, no drops, absurdly fast speeds, especially over wireless backhaul. This thing is an absolute beast over wireless backhaul. In fact, I made a separate video that I've already posted that I'm actually demoing the wireless backhaul speeds, especially if you connect a device to it via ethernet and it is absurdly fast. So I'll put a link for that description in <laughs> I'll put a link to that video in the description box below. Sometimes I get the uh, words mixed up. All right, so for this one, I had a chance to do all my internet speed tests, local speed tests, range tests, everything with the following devices. And so let's just jump straight in, starting with the internet speed test. Now, when you're accessing the internet, no matter how fast your router is, you're limited by your internet speed. So in my case, that would be five gigabits per second upload and download. So even though we have 10 gig ports on this thing, I will be capped to five gigs when I'm accessing the internet. So when I do the speed test over the computer that's hooked up via ethernet to it, and because my computer can actually support up to 10 gig speeds, I do get that full five gig. Uh, even within the Deco app, I did get that full five gig. Uh, however, Wi-Fi devices are a different story. Now, the Wi-Fi 7 devices, uh, especially the download section, is absurdly fast, uh, especially for an internet speed test. Usually, I don't see the internet speed test uh, quite as fast. Uh, mostly for the download section, uh, but absurdly fast. Uh, Wi-Fi 6E wasn't too shabby either, but obviously Wi-Fi 7 is 
uh, the king here. Now to find the true performance of this mesh system, I do a local speed test. So I make my computer into the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. And in the case of wired and wireless back, I go from Wi-Fi device to the secondary one, which then jumps to the main one, which then goes to the server. And this way I isolate this mesh system and I get its true performance. Now I've done a separate video on how to set this up. If you guys are interested, links below as well. Looking at these speeds, there is an improvement, especially in the upload sections of the Wi-Fi 7 device but definitely an improvement overall both for Wi-Fi 7 and Wi-Fi 6 and yes this is absurdly fast considering we're on Wi-Fi phones and then for wired backhaul we're still getting obviously some solid numbers because we have two 10 gig ports so when it comes in it goes out at that full 10 gig speed so you're not losing any uh, whereas with some mesh systems they have one very fast port and then as soon as it goes out it actually slows down with this one i'm really happy that they have at least two 10 gig ports but here's where it absolutely shines in the wireless backhaul. So this one, obviously this guy's just wirelessly talking to this one. And I honestly couldn't believe the speeds that I saw, especially for the Wi-Fi 7 uh, category. Very, very fast, absurdly fast. This might be one of the best wireless backhaul systems I've tested, uh, especially with the Wi-Fi 7 devices. Next, we get into range tests. Now, range will vary vastly by location. If you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, essentially more obstructions equals typically equals less range. So in my case, at 20 feet away inside my place, you know, there's definitely a drop in speed, but not too much. Uh, well, there's definitely a drop for the upload for the Wi-Fi 7. At 50 feet away outside my place, this is when the big drop happens. But the fact is at 50 feet away, Outside my place, I'm still getting these speeds are absurd. And at 100 feet, obviously, there's a big drop now and still getting very usable speeds, obviously not quite as fast. And this thing can actually go a lot further than 100 feet, but I just capped my test to 100 feet. Now, for setup and configuration, use the Deco app, which is available both on iOS and on Android. It's super easy to set up. In fact, it instructs you what to do step by step with pictures. It basically says like, oh, unplug this, unplug that, plug this in, plug that in. Uh, you know, set up your Wi-Fi name and password. And if you're replacing your router, if you want, you can actually use your same SSID, your Wi-Fi name and password, and they are both case sensitive. So even your SSID is case sensitive and all your devices should automatically connect to this system. So it's, uh, it's cool that you can actually do that. And this is a general thing you could do with pretty much any mesh system. Um, so other than that, um, one other thing that's within the Deco app is if you have TP-Link smart home devices like I do, because I have some smart light switches from TP-Link, that also shows up in the Deco app. Now, I typically like to use the TP-Link Casa app for that, but it does show up in the Deco app. Uh, some of that stuff is there as well. So just, just as a heads up, uh, that's cool that it's there. Um, you do get parental controls, a decent amount of parental controls. Um, so you could even filter out some stuff. They have more advanced parental controls available that does require a separate subscription. But I find that even the basic one, um, it gives you enough options, at least in my case, that I wouldn't need to get the subscription for it. And then you can, you know, set up your main Wi-Fi, uh, set up a guest Wi-Fi. You could set up an Internet of Things Wi-Fi for your smart home devices if you want to do that and you get VPN options, you get beam forming, you get fast roaming. Uh, you can even, if you wanted to, run this mesh system in access point mode. That's not something I'm going to recommend, but it, that option is available. So with all that said, oh, and I should mention, if you guys are wondering, is there a browser interface for this? There is, um, but it's, it's very, very limited in what you can do there. So I would recommend a Deco app. That, I went there and, the, I went to the browser interface and there wasn't really much there. Uh, the Deco app is kind of what you want to use to set this thing up. So with that said, is it worth getting this thing? Why or why not? Well, first of all, it always depends on your situation. So it really depends on, you know, your internet speeds, you know, if you want to do wired or wireless backhaul. But for this system, because it's so good and so fast, it with this one, I can pretty much almost recommend this for just about any setup. Um, it just really depends in your case, like 
you know, if you want to, it's really the only con about the system is the price and, and the price is obviously higher because this is essentially the best ecosystem and it is an absolute beast of a system. So whether you're running wired, whether you're running wireless, whether your internet speeds are 5 gigs, 2 gigs, 10 gigs, I mean, this thing can pretty much handle it all. This thing is an absolute beast of a mesh system. So amazing overall. And I will be comparing this to the BE85 and the BE63. And in fact, I'll do a separate uh, Wi-Fi 7 comparison video as well, where I'll get a few more Wi-Fi 7 devices and do a whole comparison. But this thing honestly is amazing. So with that said, let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. And as always, smash that subscribe button. I have way more videos coming out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.